Hi YouTube. My uh, cuckoo feet laid up here again. Um, we've come up today. I've uh, decided that uh, I can't put it off any longer. And I'm going to spend the night up here. I'm going to use the uh, tinker tent. Say carrying the tent up here because I've, as usual, carried too much anyway, probably. But um, Pete's come up, kindly come up with me to um, bring some of the bits and. Um, you know, just spend some chill time as well before uh, before he leaves me alone in the wilderness. Yeah, I've, I've basically today just helped Abe carry this stuff up. Um, I'm not quite ready to stay up here just yet. A few things going on. Just had a wander through the wood and it's beautiful. All the new shoots are out. Bluebells, orchids, wild garlic. Nice up there. Yeah, we had to sort of taste them. Yep. Yeah. Garlic bread now. If you've never tried wild garlic, the leaves on the young shoots are beautiful. Um, it's just like a good smile. Yeah, yeah. Put a smile on my face, certainly. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really, I'll come up as a guest. You made a nice cup of coffee. And I'm going to go home and come back in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Cheeky, aren't I? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's nice. Yeah, it's lovely. It'd be nice to see you up here again. Yeah, it just feel great to be up here. It's a quite windy today, but it's nice and sheltered here. So um, I'm looking forward to it. We brought Toby and Gibbs up, my two Jack Russells. Oh, yes. And they're doing the usual thing. One of them's digging the hole, one of them's carrying the flint. He carried it all the way down there. Back again. Yeah. It's his favourite stone. <laughs> so what do you want to do now? Oh, um, if you want another brew, another brew, get the fire going, get the fire going, I'll do some work with your head wood. Yes. And be comfortable. Yep. I think it's going to be a great night. Right, I'm preparing the bed now. Cuckoo's here still helping me, he's picking up some of the, getting, we're getting some ferns and last year's um, burdock I think it is, to lay down the bed to cover the floor. He's sort of scraped out the floor level and uh, taken out the broken bits of bottle and flint that's hanging around. And then I'm going to lay down this bed of, of foliage and then put the tarps on the ground. I've got a bed roll, an inflatable bed roll as well and then the sleeping bags on top of that but um, before it, the clouds are coming over again now so before it starts to rain we're going to put the cover over so I thought I'd just show you this now before I do that. Be back sometime soon. Right then YouTube, it's just uh, 20 past 6 now. Pete left about 4 o'clock or something like that. I've been round collecting up some firewood and setting up the tinker tent, got the sleeping bags out. As I said in a previous video, I was a bit dubious about sleeping in the uh, British Army mummy bag because uh, I felt constricted. I tried it in my back garden and I woke up after two hours, toasty warm but absolutely claustrophobic as anything. And what I've got there is um, the Pol Polish Army bedroll. Everyone will recognise it because of the turquoise in a blanket, the two blankets inside the uh, waterproof bit. And I've got a, a extra wide single sleeping bag from Argos outside of it. So hopefully that will keep me toasty tonight. I've got some long johns to put on later if it gets cold and uh, some other layers. I've got the, um, all my gear stowed inside there. And just for now, I'm setting up to low firewood, chopped it all up. I've got an upside down fire ready to start later on to cook on and to keep you warm once the light goes. And I've set up my hobo stove again for a nice cup of hot chocolate and I'm going to have a chocolate bar as well just to keep me energy and my spirits up. I've got a book tonight to read and also I've brought my digital radio along but I am um, I found it, I like listening to 4 Extra and there's lots of plays on there and you get all these sound effects coming and you think there's cars coming up the road to you when you're up here on your own. 
so I might just have to listen to a bit of music instead. Nice bit of Radio 3. Right, I'll get back to you later when I've got something more to say. Well, I'm just sitting in the tinker tent. I've just uh, chucked the coals off of the hobo stove onto the top of the upside down fire and um, blown up the embers. To help it on its way, I chucked in one of the uh, sachets of sugar from the um, ration pack. A few weeks ago, I uh, was I'd been watching some videos from a guy called Russ Contact Zero uh, Contact Right Zero Seven, and um, he messaged. Oh, whoops, a Daisy. He messaged um, or wrote a comment on one of my videos, the one where I had breakfast down on the beach, that he used to spend some time on the cliffs at Dover and uh, we got talking and turns out he comes from Canterbury where I originally come from and so we arranged a meet and we've had a couple of free spells, you know, days together, we've had a couple of adventures and uh, he's been over my house and we've been, and I've been over his and we've been looking at um, making some knives together and um, he very kindly gave me a British Army ration pack so tonight for tea I have got steak vegetables and potatoes which I'm going to boil up in the billy as I've seen lots of other people do it and then for breakfast there's sausages and beans and I've got some um, eggs which I've cracked into a bottle with some milk and marge and shaken it up which I'm probably going to pour into that as well and uh, boil that up so we'll have scrambled eggs as well because Cuckoo's coming back tomorrow morning and um, some biscuits and pate, chilli pate after, afterwards um, I don't know what it's going to be like, I've never ever eaten one in my life I've eaten uh, food in RAF canteens when I was in the Air Cadets years ago and uh, I ate whole put in of rhubarb and custard, rhubarb pie and custard, without realising it was rhubarb, which is something I absolutely hate normally, so they'd obviously boiled it to death at the time. So uh, it was edible. So maybe uh, I'll uh, do you a gourmet appraisal of uh, this food later on. So the old fire's going nicely now. I couldn't wait any longer. I was sitting there reading my book, listening to the wind howling in the trees, and the trees knocking together all over the place. I've had a check around and it's pretty um, pretty clear where we are, but you know, it's, it's going to happen, I suppose it's going to happen in some ways, but I've checked above us, whenever we've been up here I've always checked above us and uh, they look pretty safe, even now there's a few waving around, but uh, we ain't going to, haven't got too much to worry about, not with gravity as well. But uh, they are just sitting there and I'm thinking, well, let's light the fire. Make it feel like home. I don't know if you noticed earlier on, there's uh, some clear polythene I've wrapped over the front of this uh, tinker tent, which um, I'm going to pull down later and turn it into hopefully a super shelter of some sort. I don't know if the fire's too far away or what, but um, again, apart from camping with my folks when I was a kid and going to um, RAF camps and camping under canvas for two weeks in August uh, up in um, Norfolk once which I absolutely I loved doing the stuff in the day but absolutely hated the nights because I just froze and we were in big tents with beds and blankets and such like and it didn't matter what I put on to wear in the night I just absolutely froze by the morning and um, it really put me off camping for a long time. I uh, bit the bullet last October before I got this camera actually and um, I went out and slept overnight because I bought the lavu and uh, I took some blankets with me and, and a sleeping bag which was only a cheapie. I didn't spend any money on anything and I was lovely and warm all night long. I slept just under the blanket. So um, I wanted to go through the winter but uh, I was always put off because I just really didn't like the feel of getting in this British Army sleeping bag, which is a large one, 
I understand you can probably get an extra large as well. I imagine you must be able to because there's people far taller than me. And um, as I say, I ended up trying to sleep in the back garden in it a few couple of three weeks ago or more, and uh, it just really, really was horrible. So, um, and I've had the Polish bed roll um, for a while, and that's a bit tight as well. But um, I found this other sleeping bag, and I thought I could probably do it with them, you know, like half zipped because the zips are on opposite sides to each other so I'd probably have enough room in here because certainly the Argos one is plenty big enough for me to lay on my side and on my front and spread out like I like to and um, I've got a, a pillow made from the bladder from a, a box of cider from a cider festival it's, I can't remember I think it's 20 or 30 or 40 litre pillow and I've blown it or bag and I've blown it up and that's going to serve as my pillow tonight and it tucks nicely into the um, head of the um, bed rolls, so uh, I should be uh, should be hunky dory. And if I'm not, I'll just have to get up and light the fire and spend some time in front of the fire to keep warm. It's not going to be too cold tonight anyway because um, we're in May now, and uh, from experience of working night shifts outside in places, uh, and also going out and spending time out you know, through the evenings when I was younger. Um, I'm not going to suffer. I'm not going to suffer at all. Right, I'll get back to you later on when I've um, got some dinner going. Well, just sitting here chilling. The fire's going nice. I put a reflective blanket up in the frame of the Tinker Tent to uh, reflect some of the heat back. I'm toasty warm in here at the moment. The wind's sort of like building up and dying down, building up and dying down. And it's been quite windy all day. When we come up here, walking into the headwind was quite uh, quite difficult in some places because it was so brief, gusty. It rained all night last night and a bit this morning, so hopefully that's all gone out of the uh, out of there. The clouds aren't very thick at all. It's uh, it's quite a clear night. I think it's a full moon tonight as well. If it, if it isn't tonight, it was yesterday. So, uh, just thinking about now moving a couple of logs to uh, put the billy on with me beef stew. I doubt very much you could see much going on now, but uh, my stew's done and it's absolutely delicious. I'm eating it straight out the bag because as Funky said the other day it does save on washing up. It's gorgeous. Proper meat, proper potatoes and carrots. Lovely gravy. I've got rice pudding for pudding and then maybe some biscuits later. As always, my prophecy about the rain, it's raining now, it's not too bad, I'm dry in here, and as Sandy says, you can't beat the sound of the rain on your tarp, quite relaxing. So uh, I'll get back to you later if there's any news. Well, I just stacked up the fire a bit, got the polythene pulled down touch just to stop the wind coming in. It's uh, 25 to 11 now. I'm just laying here reading, chilling in the firelight and uh, I was thinking about the stuff I've got. When I put the, uh, the two sleeping bags in, well, they're in, they've got stuff sacks for them. They took up most of the room in the Bergen and then I've got the billy and uh, a couple of plates, a couple of cups, the food, the uh, thermal underwear and um, a uh, fleecy hoodie thing. 
and haven't really got a whole lot of gear I don't think but it did take up a lot of room still and that was without even the shelter I took put along the basher as well just in case I wanted to put that up in case it rained as a bit of outside cover but I still haven't worked out how to take everything I need when I yeah, watch people's videos and I see that they've got everything they need in their backpacks I usually call them put a post on their uh, page and say you're a snail because you've got everything you need on your back and I still haven't got everything I need on my back I know that uh, if I had a bought the other sleeping bag it would have meant freeing up more room inside the Bergen for stuff that I do need but um, as I say I couldn't get on with it so I've still got a long way to go before I can uh, perfect this lightweight sort of uh, bushcraft in camping overnight come the summer of course I'll have a hammock and DD tarp very light sleeping bag maybe uh, a blanket a fleecy blanket or something like that as an under blanket on it and that'll uh, be a whole lot lighter it only weighed uh, 20 kilos the Bergen with everything in apart from the water and the tarps I've got laid on the floor for um, water you know put the sleeping bags on top of but I still haven't got it sussed yet. I keep watching the uh, videos posted on YouTube and uh, watch with interest and I expect I'll get it right one day. Who knows? Keep trying. I'm enjoying myself. It's lovely out here. The wind's blowing like an express, express train. There's a few planes flying over now as well. And I think I heard some um, foxes earlier on as well. It's hard to tell because uh, it could be just bits of trees scraping together. Who knows? I'm enjoying it. I'm laid here, got my boots off, I'm reading one of those uh, Jack Reacher books. I've read a few of them now, they're pretty good, quite readable. I'm thinking about having some uh, crackers and chili paste pate or whatever it's called in a minute. The rice pudding was quite nice, nice and sweet, sticky. I quite like that, the uh, British Army Rat Pack. I'll probably sign off now till the morning. Good night all. Morning YouTube. It's just on 6 o'clock. Been laying here awake for about the last half hour listening to the birds. I think it might have been what woke me up in the first place about 5 o'clock when I laid Lay there listening and dozing. A really nice night. The wind's still going like an express train. It's been about 24 hours or more now that we've had these winds. The fire's burned down to absolutely nothing. I got up in the night a couple of times because I woke up with the wind. And actually, one time I think a fox was, uh, or a couple of foxes may have been fighting because there was a load of screeching going on. And um, so I topped up the fire. I can feel the cold on my hands now. It's just, you know, I feel the rest of me is really nice and warm. And all I did was slept in the in the Argos one on top of the check bedroll. And um, I've been fine all night. The ground is not much harder than my uh, mattress at home either, so uh, that's not been too bad either. It's just a little bit... Uh, if I was doing obviously more than one night, what I'd improve on is the um, the foliage on the on the ground underneath the uh, tarps and the sleep mat, just to give it a bit more um, bounce. But uh, that's all the things that you do every time you go out in it, find out the things to do. Also, I think I would move the water 
uh, carrier closer so I could actually do what I've seen a lot of other people do and never thought of before is have a brew just outside the door and tent so you can do your first brew in the morning from inside your bag. So I'm going to finish off this little chat and I'm going to sort that out. So I'm going to lay back in my bag and have a brew. See you later. I'm not quite in the sleeping bag but uh, I'm sitting just inside my tinker tent and I've got the, one of those hexi burners with a couple of bits of fire lighter, zip fire lighter or whatever you call it, which works just as well, and the wind guard that Kath bought me for Christmas. And it's been in the pack for a while and I finally found that I needed to use it today because it's uh, blowing the flames all around the place otherwise, so thanks very much for the present Kath. I'm sitting here. I've got a couple of free shouts I'd like to uh, send out to uh, Russ. Contact right 07. Had a lovely night, mate. That food from the Rat Pack was absolutely delicious. And when I woke up in the night, I had one of the Orky bars. And um, yeah, it was absolutely terrific food. So thank you very much for the uh, Rat Pack. And I'll see you soon, bud. And also Ace Dex, I've been watching his videos and uh, he's gone to some nice places and also he's been doing some little bits and pieces and um, making, uh, making bits and pieces and modding stuff and it's because of him I finally went out and got myself a Mora. I've been looking at them for ages and uh, I think it was his last video, he made, or the video he made on modding his Mora sheath that uh, I was ordering some gear and I thought I'll get one and it's a nice knife. All I've used it for is uh, making a couple of feather sticks and opening the, uh, the packs when the stew's ready and the green rice but um, yeah, it's a terrific knife, nice and comfortable, I can see why everyone uses them. I started off thinking oh it's got to be a 6mm blade a thick blade and all that sort of stuff but um, they're all right for chomping down wood but when I do these fires I don't split any wood at all really uh, I might I just use you know from logs down to small sticks and uh, maybe a few feathers um, and that's all I use so a knife like this or even a pen knife would do me probably um, but it's nice to have it because you've got that extra bit of oomph if you need it. So a good shout out to uh, Ace Dex. And uh, there's this guy. Oh, bah, what's his name? Um, he, uh, oh, he, he wanders around and he, he comes from Worcestershire. Oh, uh, bah, what's his name? Uh, Worcestershire Wanderer. That's it. I'm just getting him back for his video where he gave me a shout out. If you haven't seen it, um, I was in stitches. <laughs> All right, mate. He's been, um, he's got a crooked knee, so he can't walk anymore. Um, he's been told by the doctors he's not allowed to walk, so he can't go hiking as such, but he's allowed to cycle. And he's prepared himself a nice lightweight cycle tent, um, you know, a basher. And he uses the wheels from his bike to um, form the ends and then carries his all his gear on it. Again, going back to what I was talking about earlier on about the um, the gear. He's a snail and uh, he seems to get it all in a little pack. He gets huge amounts of stuff in there and I can't work out how he does it. He must have a little shrinking machine or something, I don't know. But uh, shout out to you boy. Cheers. And there are quite a few others, but once again, I haven't really prepared a list. But um, yeah, I've got some, to see some great stuff by great people. And uh, I think they just sort of know who they are because I've messaged, you know, sent them uh, posted comments. 
and uh, they've, they've come back, you know, it's, it's really nice. It's part of this thing about the community that I really like and uh, long may it continue. So to everyone on YouTube, bushcrafters, preppers, etc. All the best to you boys. And girls, of course. Well, Cuckoo's here now. He's been up here for about half hour or so. We've had a brew and uh, we're just doing some sausages or some black pudding. And I've got some uh, eggs in there which I uh, put in a pot and shook up with some marge and some milk to make some scrambled eggs with in the morning. It's a lot easier than bringing eggs up here. They don't get broken. Yes, thanks for inviting me up for breakfast, mate. Oh, it's terrific. Yeah, yeah, well, it's great to see you again. Yeah, have a nice night. Did you sleep well? Yeah, well, three shifts, but uh, I haven't had everything's tight, but it's great. Cool. Oh, um, it's got a place where it works. This tinker tent is a brilliant idea. You see my people do it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great, and it's a good idea of doing it. Nice place. Yeah, it was a good idea, and this bit of quality helps a lot as well. But you can get a sort of cloth, and don't find it. I can get a sale of canvas and that sort of stuff. But I think it's a matter. Yeah, exactly. But it was dry inside, there's no condensation in there. Yeah. I've put a reflective blanket up against the back wall just to help the heat. But this did make a difference. Did you have the fire going all right? Uh, pretty much when I woke up this morning it was out, but um, it was just endless, but I kept it going. Well, I must say I was thinking about it last night, it's really windy, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it still is, mate. It blew, the, it blew the roof off like chicken punch, so, Didn't it? Yeah. yeah, so I, I thought, well, I hope you're right to all these dreams. I know you've chosen a good spot. Yeah, but well, it's sheltered here, isn't yeah. it? But it's rushing away like anything. In yeah. fact, last yesterday evening I did see a branch fall off of a tree up there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, the widow made films this <laughs> angle. And uh, it gave me uh, a bit of a pause to look around. What about wildlife? Foxes. I, had, I think they were fox cubs then. I could hear some things on Then a bit later on, I woke up after a couple of hours. And that was, I didn't know what woke me up, but about a bit later I had some real screeching. Fighting. Yeah, they, they sound a lot of people like Yeah, it's yeah, nice. quite important. Yeah, yeah um, wasn't scared though, honestly. <laughs> Bad yeah. But doing this again, it's, it makes sense of what I watch other people do. Yeah. You know? And uh, each time I do it, I'm going to learn a little bit more and realise a little bit more about, ah, oh, that's why they do that. Yeah. Alongside it, yeah. and yeah, um, so sorry, yeah. yeah, it's either if you made a, made a smaller one for a person that's lived in, and this one's big enough for one person here, yeah, yeah, you know, so, yeah. Um, you know, because this is only half of this is only usable anyway, there's the tree trunks in there, but something else there, maybe make a new path into it, and it'll be, um, it'll be nice, and the, the company will be good as well, yeah, we forward to it. I'm just going to cook some black pudding. Black pudding. You can see it through the smoke. <laughs> we just found this old bit of a, uh, it's like a bit of an old plough. And it's been made to measure, isn't it? It's oh a yeah. Bit of plow. <coughs> so the blacksmith has made that, and it hasn't got glue that it's going to cook black pudding. It's turned into a frying pan, it's been reallocated yeah. upside down. <laughs> That's environmentally friendly. It is, it's very green. Yeah. yeah. It's sterile now, isn't it? It's been uh, in the fire as well. It should be sterile. If not, we've got a week or two to recover. That's right. <laughs> I've done that, is it? <laughs> well, what I'm thinking about it is, my wife should have the sort of sound she 
Yeah, they are mercy. Yeah. So really, it doesn't matter what we do. So, yeah. no, that's what we do. What we like, they're used to sort of looking after the signal lane when we need it. <laughs> Mind you, my missus at work, because she's known for her lack of signal, is called Nurse Dignitas. Nurse <laughs> Dignitas? <laughs> yeah. All the blokes she work with, because she goes up to see someone who says, oh, I'm ill, I'm ill. And she goes, well, there's nothing wrong with you, just two, two aspirin, one brush and debt hold, you'll be all right. And yeah. they will call her nurse dignitas. Drink plenty of water, yeah. come back and see me in a week. That's it. Because <laughs> <laughs> she knows when she's She knows when someone's sort of... I know that for a fact. Do you know anything about the smoke from yours? Yeah, she says, uh, Oh, I'm going to have to move. It's doing that thing. Sitting yeah, the smoke is going to you. Mind you, the wind is coming in across as well. Yeah. This, the last, is it the, not the last one I made? When I went down on the beach, the wind was waving from the south west then. It uh, um, must be a thing every time I go out somewhere. Cooking. The wind's in the south west. Right, so we get on and tend these sausages now, making a scramble eggs. See you in a bit, YouTube. Well, there we go, folks. First overnighter of 2015. Only the second one I've ever done. And uh, I couldn't have done it so easy without Pete coming up here and uh, carrying some of the stuff up. Not the boy. So, uh, thank you very much, Pete. This will be a help. I enjoyed it. I had a nice evening last night. Nice breakfast. Yeah, it's nice to see you back up here this morning. Yeah. The sun's come out now. Yes, we walk up. Yeah, we've got a tailwind. We're flying. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah, we're driving north of the field and through the wood. Oh, we're, yeah, we're we'll trying out the way to the uh, yeah, UK much better. Yeah, we're going to play it. Just pick some wild garlic as well. We said about it in the field. We did try to no, I should have, should have got some this morning, but I get bored and then chop it up and start the case. Never tried um, wild garlic leaf and teaching it on Sundays. Don't do it as ransoms. It's a uh, leaf. It's like that. The best one's those small young ones for me like that. Ransoms they're called, as well I understand, as I found out last couple of days. Just smell them first, make sure you don't smell the dog weed over there. That's a doggy bag. Adrian, I think they do something. I've got some of the doggy bag. I've got a coral bag. I think it's pronounced cool. I'm not sure why they're doing it. I'm not sure why they're doing it. No, it's a black bag used. Black pudding was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That black pudding took you, Doc. Yeah, an old cloud. An old cloud. That was sound that was. We haven't started being sick yet. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll say uh, see you later folks. Keep on keeping on everyone. Yeah, enjoy yourself. That's what life's about, absolutely. Cheers, Pete.